We're testing out the Elegoo Neptune 3 Plus. What a monster. Look at it compared to the old CR10. What I ended up doing, a um, little tip for you, is I just took the profiles from that and deleted their associations in Prusa Slicer and then just reused them here and changed the bed size. I left everything the same. Uh, identical actually other than I removed the bed leveling because this is kind of like 49 point leveling and that would take all day to print. Well that was a good night of 3D printing. Time to take these out to the shop and I'll keep reviewing on the Elegoo but uh, yeah I've got some cool parts for the lathe now. Okay, hopefully these will fit like so. And it's the wrong dovetail. These are for the bigger ones. <laughs> oh well, there's a better view. Yeah. The chuck key holder worked though, so I finally have a home for my chuck key so that I won't be at all tempted to leave it in the chuck. It's better than where I had it stuffed up here. Cool. The third time is a charm. Yeah, that's the ticket. Should I have them on this side? Yeah, there's not enough room. That's the ticket though. This episode brought to you in part by PCB Way. Check them out at the link below for your next electronics project. They offer competitive rates for all PCBs, parts, and assembly, as well as 24-7 tracking of your order from start to finish. More encoders. These are a different one with different knobs, but basically kind of the same as the last batch, just slightly different. Anyway, now we've got encoders for days in this kit, and what a waste of packaging. Cool nonetheless. to this stage it's functional I haven't logged this one onto the network yet but uh, it's alive oh, 
<laughs> it works, it works, it works. Oh, I'm so happy with this. That is so cool. I love the indicator LEDs for debugging. They don't have to go on the production units at all. Uh, I don't have to populate them, but uh, they look extra cool.